times are a-changing, and so is technology. But there's one thing I love about tech. It always moves forward. Helium is a seismic new technology that will change the way we work and live. As with many new things, y'all have a lot of questions, but we have answers. We've also got some gold to give away. True story. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Marina from Rockland Technologies, and welcome to our ultimate Frequently Asked Questions video. Today, we are going to cover your most commonly asked questions about your Helium Hotspot setup. And be sure to watch through the entire video, because today we are giving away gold. That's right, we are giving away this minted gold Helium Miner to one lucky winner, and a free Rockland antenna and cable package too. To enter, first subscribe to our YouTube channel, if you haven't already done so, and then read through our YouTube description for the final entry step. Now, let's turn it over to John to get this FAQ started. Hey, this is John with Rockland Technologies, and today we're going to talk about lightning arresters. Do you need them? Well, it depends. About 50% of our customers choose to get a lightning arrester, but what you need to realize is a lightning arrester doesn't actually protect you from lightning hitting your antenna. It's more of a static electricity disperser. So if lightning strikes your antenna, arrester or not, it's going to be destroyed. Your miner's probably going to be compromised as well. But if you live in an area where lightning strikes are common and lightning storms occur, then you can get a lightning arrester properly grounded with 10 gauge copper grounding wire leading into a grounding rod so that when the static electricity builds up during that lightning storm, it doesn't all get pushed down through the cable and into your miner. So something to consider, but like I said, about 50% of our customers choose to do this. The choice is really up to you. So your antenna is waterproof and your cable is too. Are you all set? You will need to weatherproof your connection by sealing off connection areas with our special waterproof rock tape or another silicone based or waterproof tape. This will ensure that water does not get in the connection areas. If you're using a lightning arrester, be sure to put tape over each connection point. Hey, this is Austin with Rockland Technologies and today we're going to talk about minor relaying and what that means. Minor relaying is basically when a port is closed on your Wi-Fi router and modem and needs to be opened. Now, this is not an actual physical port, but something that needs to be changed in your settings. And we know every router varies, so we have a website linked down below for you to check out and figure out the process with your router. Also, you want to give your miner a dedicated IP address and open this port right here. Now, if you have a separate Wi-Fi router and a modem, you may need to do this process on both devices. Now, once you've done this process on both of your devices, you may need to wait up to 48 hours for the relay error to disappear. So, you just got a new ADBI antenna, you installed it, and you go on the Helium app, and your antenna still reads as 2.3. What does this mean? Is the antenna broken? Did you not set it up correctly? No, it just means that simply you didn't go into the Helium app and update your antenna settings. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is go in and put, select custom antenna and pick from the drop down menu the DVI that you want and you can also put in your height. If you have one of our indoor helium antennas, you may be able to put it outside with proper sealing of the connector area. However, we do recommend our outdoor fiberglass series for long-term outdoor use. These models have very high wind resistance ratings and are designed to handle the elements. Yes, you sure can. We have magnet bases that allow you to put your outdoor antenna inside a window area if outdoor mounting is not an option. But do keep in mind, elevation and open space are the most critical aspects of good performance of an antenna. At ground level with obstructions nearby, your outdoor antenna may perform similar to a factory antenna. Outdoor enclosures, should you get them? Well. There are a few differing opinions here. Rack sells them. Bobcat has put out a blog post saying do not use them. If you're going to use one, make sure you get a high quality enclosure. But the things that you really need to watch out for is that these miners we use, they're basically like small computers. So they have electronic components. They don't do well in the heat. They don't do well in the cold. They don't do well in the humidity. So if you do decide to get an outdoor enclosure, keep it out of the sun. But here at Rockland, we typically recommend not going the enclosure route. 
Alternatively to an outdoor enclosure, what we recommend at Rockland is getting one of our low loss cables, usually 400 grade shielding, and running that outdoors to one of our outdoor antennas that would be optimal for your location. So instead of doing the enclosure, you can keep your miner inside and safe and just run one of our cables outside with limited DV loss and go ahead and get the best antenna in the proper location. Now, a question we get asked often has to do with HOAs. People will come to us and say, I can't get an outdoor antenna because my HOA doesn't allow it. Should I just get your indoor antenna? The short answer is yes. We do have a great indoor antenna kit, and some of our outdoor antennas can even be used indoors, as we've already talked about in this video. But here's something important that you should know. The federal OTARD laws, that's O-T-A-R-D, they actually allow you, they give you the right to have an antenna on the outside of your building. It has to be connected to your house. It can't be out in the yard somewhere and they do not let HOAs or other associations come in and tell you you can't have that antenna installed. So it's up to you whether or not you want to pick a fight with your HOA, but you do have that right. And if you'd like to take advantage of it, we recommend you research the federal OTAR laws more and possibly talk to your HOA as they simply may not know about it. In January, helium changed the way that it calculates its witnesses. So it's important to remember that it's cumulative over a period of five days. We have a full video with a short link up on the screen that goes over that. So 24 hours after your new antenna is installed, you may actually see fewer hotspots than before. This is why we recommend giving it a full five days to propagate. Now, if after 24 hours, your miner is showing no activity whatsoever, that could be a different issue. But give it five days for an accurate witness count. Now let's turn it over to Jason for some tips on improving your witnesses. It's possible to have your antenna too high or too low so that you're overshooting or undershooting hotspots. And keep in mind that no matter what gain antenna you have, they're not going to permeate obstacles any better than another antenna. So if you have your antenna too low and your neighbor's house is blocking it, it's not going to work well for you. We recommend getting that antenna up higher where it can go further and possibly get you better rewards. Many people think that the higher the gain, the better, but in fact, higher gain antennas like an 8, 10, or 12 tend to work best when you don't have other miners close by. They have more narrow vertical beam widths so they can shoot further, but they'll also over or under shoot nearby hotspots. So if you're in an area where you have other hotspots and hexes nearby, we recommend sticking with a medium gain antenna like our 5.8 DBI Rockland antenna. Well, we hope we answered many of your questions in today's video, but if not, getting in touch with us is easy. Get in contact through our website support page, give us a call, or hit up our live chat Monday through Friday from 9am to 5pm EST. On Twitter? So are we! Don't forget about our Gold Miner giveaway. Subscribe and then read our YouTube description to sign up. That's all for today. Thanks for watching!